Uh, two picks towards the top of the draft stand out to me. Oklahoma City at number two and Sacramento at number four. My big question is, does Sam Presti take Jaden Ivey? Uh, I've been saying this for a while, but I think Jaden Ivey's stock among NBA circles is higher than what's being portrayed by most media outlets and the public. I believe that he's number one or number two on more team boards rather than being number four or number five, as he is uh, on most of the media's mock drafts. Uh, the other pick I'm watching is Sacramento at number four. Uh, the early word is Sacramento could be looking to move this pick. Well, if the player got hurt or a team made a guarantee to select them, that's one thing. Uh, but if it's just to avoid the possibility of not playing well the second day, I'm not into that. Uh, I think it's safe to say that all the players that chose to play think they deserve a higher projected draft status. In that case, I think they should play. Go out there and earn what they believe they deserve. It only sends a you know a bad message to teams, but uh, I think it's a slippery slope regarding how they approach their careers too. Baldwin Jr. battled some injuries this past season. Uh, his unwillingness to play through those minor injuries and, and his lack of toughness has raised concerns. Uh, he also chose not to play in the five-on-five -five games at the NBA Draft Combine. Uh, so uh, for him, you know, having such an underwhelming vertical jump adds another negative element to his overall evaluation. Uh, he's very skilled and, and a talented player, uh, but I'll be direct here. I think he should go back to school. Jalen Williams helped himself last week. He's versatile, skilled, and, and long for a player that's nearly six foot six. Uh, I don't think he's overly athletic, but he's moved up nonetheless. Uh, I think some teams liked, liked him more than others, but uh, his, his name was certainly buzzing. Uh, I think he's solidified himself as a solid draft pick. No, I, I don't think Kendall Brown's athletic testing uh, helped him much, uh, but let me explain. Uh, coming into the season, Brown was widely regarded as a, a high-priority prospect, so everybody in the league saw him at some point or another. Uh, I think I can speak for all scouts on this one. We don't need to see any metrics to figure out that Kendall Brown is a freak athlete. So although the numbers are impressive, uh, it was expected. Uh, a few guys that helped themselves were, were Darius Days of LSU and, and Marcus Sasser of Houston, both of whom played their way uh, into the NBA draft combine uh, by competing at the G League Elite Camp first. Uh, another player that impressed me was Gonzaga's Andrew Nemhard. Yes, uh, Ryan Rollins of Toledo. Uh, he didn't light the world on fire by putting up huge numbers, uh, but he caught my eye. Uh, he's shifty and quick. Uh, I think he has the potential to develop into a, a dynamic on-ball creator. Uh, I had a chance to meet with him briefly, and, and Derek Murray will be interviewing him for Basketball News soon. Uh, I'm looking forward to learning more about Ryan over the next few weeks. Well, players are beginning to visit teams now. Uh, on those visits, some players will do competitive one-on-one, two-on-two, three-on-three, uh, and individual drills. Uh, those are the best ways to move the needle for a player during this time. Uh, the teams will also interview the players and get to know them personally, uh, which can certainly help too. At this point, players should have already signed with an agent. Uh, although this doesn't exactly answer your question, one bit of advice I'd share with players that recently hired an agent is uh, stick to the plan. Uh, they sign with their agents for a reason. They're, they're likely in the most vulnerable situation they, they've ever been in their lives because they don't know how things will unfold, where they'll live and play next year, or how much money they'll make. Uh, it's nerve-wracking. Uh, they need to trust their agents, let them do their jobs. They're experts. See the plan through, at least this imminent one.